the Kraken was caught on camera. Modern science has proven that the ancient legends do not lie. The ocean is really inhabited by giant squids and octopuses, reaching unreal sizes. But what it is not officially proved is the existence of the Kraken. However, it's quite possible that it exists because many photos and videos show it. In this episode, I'll show you cases when the Kraken was caught on camera. It'll be interesting. Let's go. Australia Since we dared to consider such a delicate issue as evidence for the existence of the Kraken, it was worth putting aside the obvious fakes. No, not photos of poor quality as if purposely taken in murky water. These days, technology allows us to take fakes to an entirely different level. So here we are, Apollo Bay, Australia, December 29, 2020. The video's author's camera is pointed at the horizon, where a strange moving silhouette is barely visible. But no sooner do we get a good look at it than the image is replaced by a white flash. While it's very talented, even the sound of the explosion reaches the coast only a few seconds after the detonation, as it should be. Although there are some inconsistencies. A bomb of enormous power exploded over the supposed monster, but the waves on the coast are still running calmly, as if there's no shockwave at all. Canada This footage was taken on November 9, 2020 in Halifax, Canada. It's hard to believe there could be giant octopuses in these harsh northern waters, but look closely. There really are giant tentacles moving in the fog over the sea surface. It's really hard to take this footage at face value. When it appeared on the internet, most users immediately dismissed it as too obvious fake. So be it, but try watching the footage again without thinking about its authenticity. Creepy, right? Malaysia Just a month after the video from Canada was uploaded to the internet, a new witness to the Kraken has surfaced. On December 7, 2020, the monster was seen off the coast of Malaysia. This time it was captured quite by accident. The cameraman was clearly filming a water spout coming towards the coast, but after only 30 seconds of filming, he noticed a strange movement over the water to the left of the water spout. Surprisingly, the Kraken in this footage looks remarkably similar to the one that appeared off the coast of Canada a month earlier. But attentive viewers can notice that the creature's tentacles move differently this time, which means that the author couldn't have edited the video, adding the Canadian octopus to it. As for the sounds, they're repeated almost exactly. Is the Kraken actually capable of making sounds? Personally, I thought it is. Pacific Ocean And here's this year's footage. When the video appeared on the internet, the author indicated that it was filmed January 11, 2021, but decided not to mention the exact coordinates of the area. We only know that we're looking at the Pacific Ocean. And again, the same sounds, and again the fog. But this time, the monster is shot much closer. It seems that there's no more than a few tens of meters from the bow of the fishing boat to the sea monster. Well, it looks very creepy, but then why doesn't the captain of the ship hurry to turn back? Anyone in this position would have tried to get as far away as possible if they had seen such a thing in the fog and heard its strange rumbling sound. Moreover, these seagulls flying behind the boat do not seem to notice anything unusual. Do you think there's something wrong or strange with this video? Australia this is the most recent video in this episode. It was taken on February 13th, 2021. It's Australia again. This time we're in a place called Umina Beach. No fog this time, but heavy rain. The space above the coastline is torn by the heartbreaking sound of a bell. But who's signaling distress? If you enlarge the frame and look closely, you can distinguish strange figures of regular shape among the tentacles of the Kraken. Reminds one of the sails of a ship. But what's the old-style sailboat doing out in the open ocean in such weather? and why no one, including the author of the video, is trying to help. It's clear that the ship cannot get out of the clutches of the monster, but you can't just stand there filming. Of course, all these videos are interesting, but are they really depicting the Kraken? Could it be that the legendary monster is simply confused with the real giants that inhabit the world ocean? Stay tuned, because in the second part of the episode, we'll try to answer this question together. Let's move on. Sea Serpents on August 6, 1848, the ship Daedalus, commanded by Captain McQuay, was sailing from the Cape of Good Hope to the port of St. Helena. Suddenly, the crew noticed a huge sea serpent quite close to the side of the ship. According to the captain and seven of his subordinates, the snake was about 20 meters long and its head was at least one meter wide. Less than a year after this amazing case, there was another one. 
The testimony was published by a London newspaper. Exactly the same sea serpent was seen off the coast of Portugal. You may think it's strange that in the 19th century people unconditionally believed in such stories, but no one could prove otherwise. At the time, biology as a science was just beginning to enter a phase of active development. Darwin's famous work on the origin of species had just appeared in the middle of the century. So even for experienced captains and officers of ships at that time, it was normal and natural to believe in the existence of monsters. Any large object moving in the water column was usually suitable for the role of such a monster. It's quite possible that the crew of the British ship mistook an ordinary whale for a giant sea serpent. Or maybe the crew member saw a giant oarfish. Fish of this species can grow up to 11 meters in length. Today we know that it's just ordinary bony fish, albeit of incredible size. However, a couple of centuries ago, things were different. Even today, scientists continue to discover several thousand new marine species every year. And it's not just some algae and anemones. Environmental scientists working off the west coast of Mexico say they've discovered a previously unknown species of whale. And it only happened a year ago. In different countries. A mixture of octopus and squid of incredible size, strong enough to tear ships apart with its tentacles. This is how this creature has been described in many parts of the world. The inhabitants of the northern coast of Japan call it a Korikamui and believe that this monster lived on the bake of Hokkaido. The inhabitants of Finland believe that the kraken had not only tentacles but also wings and call it the area where it can be met as Wicked Land. The name of the creature also appeared in Norse mythology, but it was accompanied by a very clear description. If you believe the descriptions of the ancients, it was the largest living creature in the world. The wavelength of tentacles kraken reached several tens of meters, and the mouth was so huge that it could swallow several ships at once. The monster hunted in the seas between Norway, Greenland, and Iceland. The first documentary mention of the monster appeared in the Chronicles in the 13th century, although the date of the first meeting between a man and the kraken can be considered 1180. Recognized by Science it sounds unbelievable, but already in the 18th century, the kraken as a living creature was officially recognized by scientists. The famous Swedish biologist Carl Linnaeus included it in his work Systema Naturae, published in 1735, describing it as a kind of cephalopod. Later, the author repented on his naivete, and in the new editions of Systema Naturae, the kraken was no longer present, but the recognition remained. Later, a priest named Eric Pontipidin Ossel officially recognized the kraken. In his writings, he cited as evidence a case happened in 1680 when a creature very similar to the kraken was washed up on the coast of Norway. In the modern world, modern scientists no longer believe in the existence of the kraken as a monster. However, there's no doubt that the ancient legends must have been based on something. So what creature became the prototype of the legendary monster? Perhaps it was a giant Pacific octopus, the largest octopus on the planet, which can be found in the cold northern waters. But despite the fact that this octopus can have a tentacle span of up to 10 meters, it's still not creepy enough to become a scary legend. St. Augustine Monster The St. Augustine Monster is the name given to a large unidentified creature, or rather its carcass that washed up on the coast of the United States near the town of St. Augustine, Florida in 1896. This is one of the first occurrences of the fabulous monster, which has been documented and subsequently explained. At first, scientists speculated that the carcass might actually be the remains of a giant squid, but they later changed their minds and wrote that the carcass belonged to a giant octopus. By February of the following year, nearly two months after the discovery of the new species, the creature was given the designation Giant Octopus. Tissue fragments were preserved in a scientific laboratory where they safely survived for more than 100 years. In 2004, thanks to the progress made in the field of electron microscopy and biochemical analysis, it was possible to study the samples in more detail. This time, it was discovered that the preserved masses of carcass were pure collagen, a structural protein found in the skin. Scientists concluded that this mass was the remains of whale skin. Subsequent analysis confirmed that it was indeed the flesh of a whale, a sperm whale to be more precise. Globster Only 64 years later, this St. Augustine carcass would be called a globster, a term that began to refer to any unidentified sea monster. 
It turns out that carcasses resembling the St. Augustine monster have been found and continue to be found on shores all over the world. The term globster itself was coined by British-American cryptozoologist Ivan Sanderson in 1960. He himself first used the word to describe another unidentified find, the Tasmanian globster. Giant Squid And what about squids? They first appeared in the writings of the ancient Greeks, but they were hardly ever mentioned between antiquity and modern times. To this day, the giant squid remains the most enigmatic animal in the ocean, if not the entire world. Scientists have managed to capture it in its natural habitat only a few times, even though more than 150 years have passed since they first documented the new species. Most of the information about these giant creatures, which can grow up to 12 to 14 meters in length and live in a world devoid of sunlight, comes from discovering their carcasses floating in the ocean or found in the belly of sperm whales. Dwelling at depths of 200 to 1,000 meters, giant squids inhabit the deepest and darkest places in the world. Here's what's known about the mysterious animal. That's all, guys. Would you like the Kraken to exist in reality? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.